Hi everyone, this is Irina bringing you a new Supply Chain Minute from Supply Chain TV. Last week, we brought you some um, statistics uh, from a new survey conducted with American consumers uh, regarding their um, sentiments around purchasing goods not manufactured in the United States. Um, the findings were interesting um, specifically because it shows that most Americans um, are averse to purchasing goods manufactured outside of the United States at the same time that businesses perceive it as a lot riskier to continue to manufacture those goods outside of the country as well uh, from different perspectives. So while businesses are concerned about the impact to global supply chains due to the labor, sh labor shortages and the decisions that other countries globally have made um, to shut down um, and to prioritize different economic sectors during the close down of the pandemic. Um, so that's obviously impacted global supply chain from from raw materials to intermediary materials to logistics to finished goods. Um, at the same time that consumers, um, you know, are demanding uh, more products made at home. And so will this create a large wave of reshoring and um, relocation of most supply chains? And if so, you know, one of the challenges from our post last week was if consumers really understand the pricing impact of what this means. Um, and so I'm interested to understand how other supply chain professionals are thinking about this. What type of models, what type of testing, what type of market research are you guys conducting um, to understand what your supply chain will look like moving forward? I'm super interested in this conversation and look forward to your feedback. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.